I'm Scott Carpenter, and you're in Campus Social Time with Scotty C. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another social segment with Scotty C. And it's March, which entails one thing. It is time for March Madness. So get your brackets ready. I'm ready to put a little knowledge on you. We'll see if it works out. This could be a bracket-busting year, but let's check it out. We'll start in the South. And in the South, number one ranked Florida, in my opinion, the toughest team in all of the tournament, has potential to win it all. One upset potential I have for you, in my opinion, is SF Austin will move on and beat VCU, but not a Cinderella story. They're going to get stopped short. Good matchups that you want to check out in this bracket, Ohio State and Dayton. A lot of people picking Dayton. I'm a homer. I got to go with Ohio State. New Mexico and Stanford will be a good game as well. New Mexico is hot right now. But in the round of the 16, I think Florida will move on and beat Pitt. UCLA won't have a challenge with SF Austin, and it hurts me to say this, but the 2-3 zone will eat the Buckeyes alive, and Syracuse will move on, and Kansas, the two seed, will move on as well to the round of 16. In the east, we have Virginia, a late bloomer in the season as the strongest team in this bracket. Upset potential is Harvard over Cincinnati, but I don't think it's going to happen. I see Cincinnati moving on. Good games. you got to check out Providence and North Carolina. UNC could be a sleeper team. And UConn and St. Joe's promises to deliver as well. For the round of 16 here, I think without a doubt, Virginia will move on. Cincinnati will just fall short to Michigan State. And I think UNC will top off the streaky Iowa State. And then on top of that, I'm going to throw another upset in the East. I think UConn not only beat St. Joe's, but they beat the weakest two seed in Villanova as well. And moving on to the West, Arizona had an easy has an easy road in this bracket, although you have to look out for Wisconsin, I think possibly the strongest two seed in this tournament. In the first round, I think Gonzaga-Oklahoma State has a very good matchup, and I think uh, BYU and Oregon is good as well, so check out for that one. Moving on to the round of 16, I think Arizona does it without issue. I think Oklahoma gets the best of San Diego State. Creighton is a very streaky team, which is why I am picking Baylor to move on. Another six seed for me in the Sweet 16, and I think Wisconsin has a pretty care or carefree Sweet 16 ride coming for them as well. So that's my Sweet 16 in the West. Moving on now to the Midwest. Games taking place in Indianapolis. Wichita State, undefeated. you got to tip your hat when it comes to that one. Michigan, another 2C coming out of the Big Ten. Very strong conference. Look out for them as well. Moving on to the round of 16. I think Wichita State, although a lot of people are picking them to be the first number one out, possibly losing to Kentucky, will move on. And then they will play Louisville, who I think is going to easily beat St. Louis. UMass is going to face Duke, and in my opinion, Duke gets the best of them. And Michigan will face Arizona State, and I think Michigan moves on here, though it pains me to say it, the maize and blue will move on. It's March, ladies and gentlemen. Those picks could be very wrong, or they could be very right. But you have a chance to win a billion dollars this year if you go to the Quicken Loans bracket, so you might as well do it. I'm Scotty Carpenter, and we'll be back next week to see either how good or how bad my picks were, and we'll go out and talk to you guys on campus to see what your picks are. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you around.